Hey everybody, welcome back to the second part of List. Uh, in this one, we're just gonna look at some basic manipulation, and we're gonna talk about how you can access elements, how you can add some elements, and how you can kinda, just some different things you can do with the list uh, that are kinda interesting. So, you notice that I've gone back to the previous list of ages here, so I got my ages, and I've got 10 of them. There's no true or float or string values in there. So the first thing I want to talk about is this word mutable. Okay, and mutable means that means a, a list can change uh, in length and type. Okay, so that means the elements in this list, I already showed earlier how I can change their type. Their types can be different whatever you want. The length of this list, I didn't show you quite how you can do that, but you can actually make this list longer or you can make it shorter. In this tutorial, we're just gonna look at uh, how to make it longer. That means the opposite, which is immutable, means a list um, stays the same length and type. So in Java, C, C++, when you create a list, you tell, you tell the compiler, you tell Java, C, C++, how long you want that list and how and what type you're going to use. So you might say, I want a list of 10 ages that are all integers. And in Java, C, C++, this ages1 variable is always going to be stuck with that integer type and with the same length. It'll always, be, always have those. Okay? But in Python, it's way more flexible. You can actually change the length and the type of variables inside. So I'm gonna move this up here so we can keep those words because I'm gonna come back and use these. And first thing I wanna do is I wanna show you how to access elements. And we've kind of seen a little bit how to do that uh, by using the index, that's what we did. Uh, so we're gonna go back and we'll cover that again. So age is one, if I wanna access 15, or sorry, if I wanna access the second element, I use the index 2 and I print it out and it says 13. If I want to access the sixth index, it's going to be the element 16. All right, but what if I want to change those elements? Okay, what if I want to change what's, what's there? You do the exact same thing. You say age is 1, 2, and let's say I made a mistake and this person is not actually 13, but they are 15. I can now change it. And if I run this, it'll change that list. Well, how do you tell if you have changed the list or not? Well, you just print it out. So I use ages one and I print the list. And you notice that now the second index, zero, one, two, is 15. Okay. So I can change any of these indexes I want. Each time I rerun the program, it recreates my list and then I will change a new element. Oh, well, six is actually now 16, now it's 15. Uh, I could then change it to be a string. I could put a T here. I could also put a Boolean value, or I could change this to a floating point value. It doesn't really matter. In Python, it doesn't care what you're putting there. It doesn't care what the value is. It doesn't care at all. That's because it is mutable. So that's the part of changing the type. The list can change the type all you want, and it can change it during the program being run. Now, in Java C, C++, there are ways you can do this type of stuff, but it does not come with the basic array. It's not like built into the language. Uh, you have to add in libraries or modules as, as we've come to know them uh, and, and do it like that. Okay, so uh, in here, we can also change, the other part is changing the length, and that's important. So I'm gonna say ages two, and it's gonna be another array, another list of ages. And let's say that I do my survey and I get all of these names here, right? And all, sorry, all of these ages for these different people. And then I come back and I do some more surveying and I, I get, I don't know, maybe I get four more ages. And I want to put all of these ages together into one list. So you say, you're probably saying in this case, yeah, hey, we'll just stick them up here and type them in. And yeah, that makes more sense. But 
in this case, we're going to assume I have two lists and we're going to do that just, just for the sake of a demonstration. So if I want to print these out, the easy way to do it is just ages one, ages two. And if I add these together, it, what it does is it concatenates the list. So this is called concatenation or concat. Okay, you're going to see concatenation or concat. Uh, when you put these lists together, you add them together, you're, you're doing concatenation. Okay, and the function in many other languages that you'll see is concat, and you'll, you'll come across that a lot, that, that, that word. Okay, so I could alternatively do exactly what I did before. I could say ages three is now equal to these, and then I could print ages three, and it will give me the same output as if I just printed these, but I've created a new list of, of elements uh, that is these two lists put together. So maybe for whatever reason I need to keep these two separate because I collected the information on different dates, so I want a different list for every single day that I collect information, but at the end I want to put them all together. Uh, you can do that. You can actually also, if you want to, I could then add an, the same list onto the end, so I'd have this list, plus this list, plus the first one again, and you get a really long list of all the elements. And it's just this, plus this, plus this, gives you a long list, all right? So, kind of interesting, that's all about concatenation. Uh, the list, as you're, as you're telling, you can, you can put it back into one, you could actually do this, Say you want to add on, it's the same thing I just did before, adding this one to this one, but I'm using the shortcut. Oh, I do need to print it though. Print it out, it gives me the same thing. Okay, so that's all about uh, how to concatenate a list. So we've seen how you can change the elements by using a, an equal sign. So ages one, let's say ages one, three is equal to, I don't know, 10. I uh, print ages one, but let's say that I don't want to just change an element. Let's say I want to repeat a bunch of elements. Maybe, maybe here, I want to. I, I collected this information, but I actually collected four more people that have the exact same information. So let me make a new list, and that list is going to be ages two times two. Okay, so your first inclination might be that. I'm multiplying these by two, so eventually I'm gonna end up with uh, 30 and, and so on. And if I wanted to do that, I could. Uh, and if you wanna multiply an element by an element in there, you do something like this. You still have to access the individual element. So you have to say ages zero equals ages to zero times two. And if I printed ages two, let me uh, comment this one out really quick. If I printed ages two, you'll notice that the first element becomes 30. And I, and I have to do that for, if I wanted everything multiplied by two, I would have to do the that for every single element. Okay, and I'd multiply them all by two. Or I could make a for loop, and we'll do that stuff later, don't worry. Okay, but this, when the types are lists, this is a list type, and you multiply a list type by two, what you actually get is the list doubled. So you get this list plus the same list. And you can do it as many times as you want. Now, this might not seem like the most useful thing, but at times you do want a list to be doubled in length for whatever reason. Uh, so you can use times on a list type, we'll just repeat the list and add it on. So I can do this as much as I want. Uh, if you keep doing this, you're gonna get the list repeated a whole bunch. Okay, and you notice like even though you're seeing this, this is actually going all the way up to the very top. Okay, so in this video we discussed a few important concepts. We, in, we discussed being able to, to change a list, meaning Python lists are mutable. Remember that word because you're going to see it everywhere when you start looking around for help online. You see lists are mutable, lists are mutable. Uh, so this here, uh, you can change element type. You can also change the length of a Python list by using the plus operator. Uh, you can concat, that's by concatenation. OK, 
Okay, so using the plus operator, you can use the multiplication operator to uh, copy a list into it onto itself or into a new list using the multiplication operator. And you can access the elements by using the square brackets. So access elements using these brackets. Okay. And for example, pages one. Okay. And I do want to drive home and I'm going to say this again and again and again, is that these, this here ages one, this is just like a variable that I've called ages one. And I'm, I can use it in the same exact way. You can do ages one equals ages two plus ages three. And when, and you might say, well, am I concatenating? No, because I'm accessing individual elements. And this is a really important concept that I see a lot of people get confused when they start using list and they're accessing elements and they're saying, well, am I accessing the element? What am I actually doing here? Uh, in this case, this would be this element changes to 31 because this is 13 plus 18. I'm adding these two together. So when you see the square brackets, you're accessing the elements. When you take the square brackets off and it is a list type, you are dealing with the entire list. Okay, so in this case, I would double the list. All right. So I'll come back again and again, and I'll drive that point home until you're sick of me of saying it, but it's really important and you need to remember it. Okay, so in the next video, I'm actually gonna look at a whole bunch of functions that are used with list that are very, very useful. Okay, so we're gonna keep the ages here, and I'm actually gonna delete ages two, but we're gonna keep ages one up there, and we'll come back to that in the next tutorial, and we'll see other things we can do with it. All right, if you have any questions, leave them in the comments, and I'll see you next video.